The Mount Sinai Otolaryngology Surgical Video Series presents Endoscopic Zanker Diverticulotomy. This procedure is performed by our department head and neck surgeons and laryngologists for the treatment of Zanker diverticulae, which may cause dysphagia and food regurgitation. This video was edited by Zachary Schwamm. This is a left lateral view of the upper aerodigestive tract. A Zanker diverticulum is an outpouching of the mucosa and submucosal layers through a space between the cricopharyngeus and inferior constrictor muscles known as Killian's Triangle. It is classically found in elderly adults and may present with halitosis, regurgitation, and dysphagia from food particles trapped in the diverticulum. This is a posterior view showing Killian's Triangle. In order to create a common marsupialized space as shown on the right, it is necessary to resect the party wall as low as possible. When using a laser, this wall can be taken to its base, whereas with a GI stapler, a small remnant is left inferiorly due to the staggered nature of the tines. When looking from superior, the esophagus will be anterior and the diverticulum posterior. The party wall will appear as a thick, horizontal wall of tissue. A weirda bivalve diverticuloscope is placed in the postcricoid area in the proximal esophagus. As the laryngoscope is advanced, old food particles are encountered and must be suctioned. Slowly the party wall comes into view. A bit more debris is suctioned. The thick party wall separates the esophageal lumen from the diverticulum and will be stapled. An endo-GI stapler is slowly brought into the field. With one tine of the stapler on either side of the party wall, it is slowly deployed. There is a small inferior remnant to the party wall as expected. Extra staples are suctioned out. 